Welcome back to the channel. Chris Trott with Team TaylorMade here at the Kingdom Carlsbad, California. Stealth 2 Plus also has a second option and I know you've been eyeing it up and that is the Stealth 2 Core model. Again, look at it from the player's view. You know, those of you who watched my first video on Stealth 2 Plus, I'll put the link down in the description below if you didn't, but you know that's a big thing that I want you to look out for when it comes to looking at and testing the driver. There's so much tech underneath, you can see it all. And on the Stealth 2 Core model, you can see that the movable weight track at the front has gone, and there's a reason for that. I talked in the first video about weight savings. There is more carbon in this club than ever before. The newly designed 60 layers carbon twist face at the front, that's now lighter than the previous model. Behind that, there's been changes to that face. It's gonna be more forgiving for you. That trampoline, that spring effect that you get off the face from the energy that you put in is now greater here when it comes to off-center strikes, meaning you're gonna get more speed if you catch one out the toe or the heel, if you catch one low or you catch one high. That'll all happen for you as a golfer. But when you flip them round and you look at them, now you can see the Stealth 2 model has framing in a red ring that comes round. This is a composite ring, both of the clubs have it, but you can see on the Stealth 2 to define it from the player's look, it's actually red. So that's how you're gonna notice it. The other thing that stands out, and I want you to look at the two clubs together, slightly different shapes, yeah, but also different lie angles. So a lie angle is crucial for a player when they set up to it as to how low they wanna put their hands. This one is gonna sit a little bit more upright. So perhaps if you're a bit taller or your miss tends to be to the right, this more upright lie angle means that the ball will start closer to the center line or a little further left if you're someone who tends to miss left. You don't want it too upright. So just be aware of that as you look at the golf clubs lie angle and how it looks in your hand. If you're in the shop, you're looking at one or you're in the test room or the facility or on the range like this, just take note of that lie angle. Do you like the look of it? Because it will be something that comes into your psyche when you're out on the golf course. Now back to the underneath side of this, the Stealth 2 Plus has the movable weight at the front, which you can pull into the toe or the heel to help you either speed up the release of the toe to give you a different shot shape or slow down, depending on what shape you need. This one though, the Stealth 2 Core, has the weight all the way at the back and it's 25 grams back there. That's a lot. Yes, there's weight at the front and you can see that's been tuned for you, it's fixed. But when you put the weight all the way at the back there, and you'll have seen this in Kapalua with some of the boys playing it, that means you're gonna get a little bit more spin out of the club. So, same testing process for those of you who saw the first video. Expect now a little bit more spin. You might not be hitting it perfect on the day you go to hit, so take that into consideration. As I tell everyone who gets a fitting, it's key that you're honest with yourself on the strike, especially with these new Stealth 2 products because you're gonna get speed out of the blade. It's gonna happen. I demonstrated it with the Stealth 2 Plus. No doubt I'm gonna demonstrate it here as well with the Stealth 2 model. You're gonna get speed on an off-center strike. I'm not messing around with golf shafts. I know the golf shaft I like. For me, this sits a bit more upright for me, so I'm not in love with that. I haven't actually hit this one very much at all. So again, get connected with your target. Straight away, you can tell my psyche doesn't love the lie angle. Maybe over-released it as a result of the lie angle, but I actually quite like the shot. I think it was toey. It wasn't hit great. But again, ball speed on a day like today, being honest with myself, bit cooler, ball speed is where I want it. It's up in the mid 165, I think there's more in the tank. You could tell the flight was a bit flat, but it still carried 270 and it went 295. That is a great example of who would play this driver. Whenever you hit a draw shot like that, toey draw with the plus, that might be going down at 1900 spin. That one was 2500. What the hell does that mean to you, the golfer? If it's 1900, it means for my speed and your number, which you can go through with your fitter, if you're slower speed, you're gonna need more spin. But whenever we turn a ball from right to left for the right-handed golfer, so you, it's called a draw, you draw it like that, you can see it disappeared behind the mound here and drew into the back left corner of the kingdom. 
You want spin on the ball to keep it in the air. That's the purpose of twist face. That's the purpose of the weight at the back. That's the purpose as to why you'd be someone who'd go for the stealth two versus going for the plus. Because this head spins a little more. This is the main thing that I see between the two heads. That's a lower spinning option. It's easily identifiable when you hit it. And this is a higher spinning option. You must understand as a player which one you need. If you tend to hit draws or you like hitting draws, then getting into the Stealth 2 core model is going to help you out because it's going to have more spin on it naturally, loft for loft, and stay in the air. That pretty much is the key takeaway, in addition to the lie angle. So we'll hit one more, maybe a few more, and I'll show you some of these off-centre strikes, probably, the way I'm hitting it today, but regardless, it's a good example for how you can get speed out of this golf club. That's a pretty good hit. If anything, and I'm being hypercritical, if anything, maybe heel side. Yeah, 3,000 spin. So Twist Face has kept that spin below 3,500 because it was low, because you can see 9.2. You can look at the club path that's in there down a little bit. I know the way I'm hitting it. I struggled to get that one absolutely rifled and going, but 95.9 on the peak height, land angle 39. Notice again, I'm going for dry golf balls here. Dry golf balls, I'm going to tee it up a bit more and see if I can send one just to end this thing. Get it exactly where you want it. Hit one out in the middle. Keep an eye on ball position. But it's do it's 165 ball speed. I mean, that's a, a low hit in the blade, 165 ball speed. So again, target, lose yourself, good turn. Low in the blade, I'd say that's bordering a little bit too much spin, but that's my characteristics now. And this is where inner fitting, because that's too high a spin. So now you've got options. Inner fitting now, because I'm a high spin player and the way I deliver it, good ball speed, so actually hit a little better in the blade, but I'd be reaching for the plus now, because now I could take the spin off. But if you wanted to stay in this model, remember, you can adjust loft sleeve. So I could go for a loft sleeve tweak if you turn it towards lower, fitter will do it for you, but if you're the hitter, be aware of it. You turn it towards lower, the blade goes more open, but the loft comes off the ball, off the blade. If the loft comes off the blade, you deliver less loft, you're gonna get more yardage out of that because your spin number is gonna be more efficient. All about changing those numbers. Pretty good, maybe a hair toey. Spin will be down because it was drawing. But you can straight away see for me, those of you who watched the first video, they're not bad. Launch 10.3, could maybe launch it a bit higher. Spin 2800, 164 ball speed. Not my best hit because it was toey. 290 total, not bad. I think those of you who saw the first video can see I'm a bit more comfortable in the plus model. I'm a bit more comfortable when the spin is down a little bit. I didn't have anything over 3000, I think, in that video. But the point is, is there are two amazing options that have both got the tech in there that's gonna give you the speed on an off-center strike. That's shown. I live around 167, 168 if I'm on a golf course. So these miss hits around 165 are good. But for me, that look at the lie angle puts me in there. I prefer the black framing than the red framing. That's golfer preference. I prefer to have the option to move the weight at the front golfer option and I suit a slightly lower spinning option than a slightly higher spinning spinning option but I can tell you I've been on this range through the last few weeks fitting first parts and I've put a lot of guys into stealth two core who are love to draw it sling that golf ball get it moving right to left or left to right if you are a lefty and they want this because it can stay in the air on the draw so know who you are as a golfer going in before you get these. I like these options because they're further apart than they've ever been before, which is great. There's a clear identity to each one and both of them on off center strikes give you some speed. Hopefully that helps you. Get control of your fitting process. As a hitter, you have a responsibility to pick targets, put alignment sticks down, make intermediate targets, just know what you turn up with on the day, deal with the conditions. It's not always gonna be perfect. 
come back another day if you need to. And as a fitter in that scenario, make the person feel comfortable, agree on target lines, and know you've got options. Don't let that hitter hit too many golf balls because that's going to cause issues as they get worn out and then they can't find the middle. Hopefully that helps you. It doesn't need to be a minefield. Always push you to get fit. It's crucial. If you like what you're seeing, subscribe and follow along. I'm going to bring more stuff as new products come out. But that is the 2023 Stealth 2 offering from TaylorMade. It's a great club. Be sure to check them out and get fit for them.